Okay, this is uh, take 2.5 of the Xbox 360 liquid cooling project in full motion. Uh, here we're working on custom lights, uh, the wiring scheme and all that stuff. We're looking at the new Jasper chipset version of the 360 with the uh, smaller capacitors as you can see there and everything looks nice and neat and uh, gives, gives a good, good amount of leeway to fit a lot of stuff, you know, uh, the cooling blocks, the, um, <coughs> the high flow reservoir, all that stuff will fit there very nicely, the pump, nice big space for the pump right there, and as you can see right there we have the uh, LED UV laser lights fully installed, uh, over here we have 12 volt DC, 5 volt DC power lines coming out to the, um, to the connector that's going to be hooked up to the uh, four fan controller temperature sensor. Um, I already installed the um, the uh, heat sink on the memory chips that are on the surface and also the south bridge and the ANA chipset. So uh, we should be pretty cool with that. Um, this is again the stage two. Uh, the next step after this will be the installation of uh, the full installation of the hoses going out to the uh, reservoir radiator outside and the uh, pump and the, uh, the actual water reservoir itself. Um, <clears throat> after that we'll proceed with the uh, CD-ROM install. As you can see it's a custom cut CD-ROM with uh, LED lights inside. It's, it's off right now but when the installation is said and done um, you know, we'll, we'll set it up and we'll give it a go. The cut came out very well, very nice and uh, neat and straight. So, and uh, custom painted the uh, the case also black, so it looks pretty cool. It's a, a light on drive, so it should be pretty nice. And uh, we'll see what else happens after this. Thanks for watching.